Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to fail over main node or active node resources to another node or passive node. In this demo, we'll be learning overview of an existing cluster configuration. And number two, how to look at current node of different resources. And number three, how to fail over resources from one node to another node. So let's go ahead. You can use basically any node that you have added in your cluster to use a failover cluster manager. I'm going to use my one node right here. This is um, my active node and I have fired up uh, failover cluster manager uh, running at this moment. In my case is TBS node one, Tech Brothers node one. This is where the cluster is being hosted and it has two networks right here, recent cluster events. This is important so you can go ahead and if something happened to your uh, cluster, event, uh, cluster, you can look in events right here. So let's go ahead and um, open our cluster right here and look at the roles this is where each application that you install which is cluster aware will appear right here in my case is there are two sql server instances they are running on the current node tbs node 1 tbs node 2 and let's take a look on the nodes i have two nodes one is tbs node 1 where the our resources are running and tbs node 2 where the resources i'm going to fail over to so in order to look at various resources basically where they are running you can click on either node and it'll tell you that what resources is holding and uh, or you can click on roles and take a look on here the current uh, the owner of the node owner node of that particular application in this case right here if you click on resources it'll tell you right here the detail of the resources and it is running on node 1 right here so click on storage and if you click on disks you will see that these are this all the disk each disk in cluster is a resource for the cluster so all the uh, cluster disks are online and right here it will show you that where they are running owner node is tbs node 1 at this moment so let's go back to node 1 right here if you click on tbs node 1 it will tell you that it's up and running node id is 1 and right here is really a great information you can look at the summary right now click on network connection it'll tell you that what are the network connection and the current owner of those networks you can also click on networks right here and see the current owner of the uh, uh, see the information about the networks such as uh, cluster use this is a, a cluster a client and this is cluster only this is private also known as heartbeat and this is the external network so if you go back to the nodes click on the node and right here we're looking at network connections click on the roles what roles this particular node has this particular node in my case is tbs node one has three roles one is sql server prod one instance sql server uat another instance and uh, uh, distributed transaction coordinator right here ms microsoft Distrib ms dtc right here and also the disk if you click on this it'll show you that uh, currently this node has these many disks so this is how you can basically view the current node or different resources that what node they are running on as as we as i said that uh, we went through click on roles and went through the server instance sql server instances msdtc nodes disks and now our next target is let's go ahead and move the resources uh, from one node to another i'm going to go ahead in this demo click on roles and i'm going to move the resources of sql server instance sql prod to node 2. you need to right click on uh, on the role that you wanted to move to another node you can click right click and click on move and click on select node and it'll show you uh, if you have more than two node cluster it'll show you right here all the nodes that it can possibly go so it'll show you right here you need to just click on this node and click OK the other way that you could do it click on roles and you can click on move right here on the right pane 
click on select node and you can select the node this way so let's go ahead and right click on the node I'm sorry on the roll and click on move and select node and in this case it's gonna be DBS node 2 so click OK and it will start failing over so in order to look at the detail you do need to click on resources summary will not summary will show you just this much and if you click on resources you will see that how it it goes online and offline uh, it took basically the uh, disk on offline first and brought them online and then up here the TBS cluster uh, SQL Server instance that came up right here SQL Server prod and SQL Server agent came up right here so let's go ahead and move the resources uh, from node 2 to node 1 so let's go ahead right click on that or we can go ahead and select this option this time click on move select node as you can see that it has given us the option node 1 click on that click OK and you will see all that uh, what goes offline first when it happens and when it comes online what comes comes online first as far as target nodes concerned alright everything is online at this moment so basically this is it this is how you um, fail over resources from one node to another node or how you fail over from main node active node to the passive node and